Solar, wind, tidal, it's my chips in three minutes. This week I'm going to talk about something a little bit different, something that's close to my heart, and that's renewable energy. Because, much though there are a bunch of things out there that are kind of terrifying, there's also some good news. So, what was the good news this week? Well, I think there are a few things that are worth mentioning. One, we got some news about an airport in India called Cochin International Airport. It's the seventh biggest airport in India, and they're now running 100% renewable, all on solar. 46,000 power cells, powering everything they need to keep that airport up and running. I think that is tremendous news, super happy about it. So what else is happening? Let's take a look at Portugal. Portugal, not the richest country in Europe, but a really interesting country. They made a strong commitment to renewables. They've got loads of wind, loads of sun, so what do they do in Portugal? They run things renewable. This week, they've run for four whole days without burning any carbon. So, Portugal, that's wicked. So I'm really happy about what's happening in renewable energy there. But of course, it's about the commitments we're making. The Indian example, they were using too much energy. They said, we've got to change this. They made a commitment to solar. We're going to see a lot more of that in India. It's about making those investments and investing at scale, because it's all about scale. The price of power is crashing because of scale. And that's something that we know a lot about in web environments. You look at the web companies, the way they operate is at scale. And it's important to understand. They put everything together. This is what, you know, you're managing tens of thousands of servers, the lessons they learn. And if you take a company like Google, they never expect to do anything that isn't at four comma scale, that isn't going to be absolutely massive. So what do we have recently? Google, at their GCP Next event, they made a really strong commitment to solar, really strong commitment to renewables. And they said, look, the whole industry needs to make a change, needs to do this. We're seeing that now. Recently, Microsoft stood up, said something I think which is frankly incredible. Very often I see these like, you know, you'll see an industry and they're like, yeah, by 2050 we're going to do X. 2050 is too long. 2050 is too long. Microsoft has said by end of 2018 they're going to be running 50% renewables. That's amazing. Get your workloads to Microsoft. That's really good news. Who else have we got? Google, making similar commitments. They're, in fact, saying they're all the way renewable. Keep it up. Amazon, we're also seeing them make significant progress. Amazon was not the quickest to this, but when Amazon acts on something, they go at it hard. They're pressuring all of their suppliers, and increasingly, they are going sustainable. This stuff isn't easy, though. Look at Apple. They made a commitment to building data centers in Ireland. That's going to put Ireland's power up by 8%. So one company invests in Ireland, their entire consumption of power goes up 8%. Ireland's going to have to go significantly renewable. They're going to have to find ways to do this. Tidal, wind, it'll be interesting to see how Apple and the Irish government pull it off. That's good news. That's Monk Chips in three minutes.